Welcome to H2K Infosys. H2K Infosys is a e-verify business based in Atlanta, Georgia, United States. We provide 100% job-oriented, instructor-led, face-to-face, true live online software training programs. It also includes access to Cloud Test Lab with software tools. We provide live project for you to work on. We also provide assistance with mock interviews, resume preparation and review, and job placement assistance. H2K Infosys is trusted by so many students across the world. H2K Infosys provides world-class services in IT training with real-time project work for corporates and individuals, special IT training for MS students in the United States, software design development, QA manual and automation, performance testing and maintenance, IT staff augmentation, job placement assistance and tech support. Is it just one line in BRD? Yeah, actually, right. See, this is uh, we are not a business analyst, right? We cannot write that details and all. This is just for your learning purpose. I'm trying to explain you how to test a mobile application. What are all the things we need to consider? So what I am taking is right. I'm taking some uh, examples for you, and then I'm trying to explain you. Right? Okay. So it, uh, so yeah. you won't give any paragraph to? No, no, no. See. Inside, right, you have a lot of things. Say, for example, if I say that successful inquiry creation, right, we have a lot of things like uh, validations, and then we have, we need to check each and every field, and negative testing, positive testing, everything will be there. Here, right, I'm giving a single, like, successful inquiry creation. Based on this, right, you can come up with uh, your test cases, like how to create that inquiry, and then you can write your positive test cases, negative test cases, like that. So we can say that it is like table of contents for the other. Right, 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 right. So this is just a like high level view of your application. This is I'm not giving that uh, detailed uh, requirements here, right? I'm giving that high level requirements for my application. Okay. In real sense, will these uh, BR1, BR2, will that be considered as uh, separate modules? Yes, yes, yes. They will say that modules. Yeah. Fine. Fine. Now. This is a as a tester, we need to understand these terms also. Like now, what I'm doing right now, slowly we are going to that uh, application testing. Before going to that application testing, we need to understand few more things. Right? Before writing the test cases, we need to understand few things. Once we are clear with this, then what we will do is we will write the test cases. But remember, right. After two, three slides, if you are clear with the three slides, you can test any kind of mobile application, whatever may be that mobile application. But that is with manual. I'm not talking about automation. This is basic, so I'm targeting manual testing. So you can test any mobile application. Let's go with that. Now, usually, right, we have so many platforms, like we have Android, we have iOS, we have Windows platform is there, we have Boda. We have Symbian. Anyone heard about this Boda and Symbian? Like any, everyone knows that Android and iPhone and Windows. Anyone would have heard about this Boda? Boda is nothing but Samsung. Samsung will use this Boda, right? And you know, right? Symbian is nothing but Nokia. Nokia, right? Uh, they used to work with this uh, Symbian. Now they are migrating to Windows. Now they are changing this uh, Symbian platform to, like, slowly they are changing to uh, what do you call this? Windows. Fine. Now, how to identify this uh, platform? Say, I'm saying that uh, I'm having so many platforms. Right? If developer is sending any file, right? Bada is also one operating system. You can also use this operating system for your mobile, like your Android and iOS, like similar to like your XP, right? XP and Vista and Windows 7. Similarly, we have one Bada operating system. With this, right, you can uh, implement, you can develop your mobile phones. Fine. Here, whenever, right, if you are getting any file, right, uh, the developer will say that I'm done with my development. Please start testing. When they're saying like this, they will send a mail. I mean, they will send a file for testing, right? When they're sending any file which is having .apk, .apk is nothing but your Android 
file. That means whenever you are having extension dot app, that is nothing but my Android. So developer sent for Android testing. So I need to test my application in Android platform. Samsung will use both, right? Samsung will use Bada. Samsung will use Android, right? See, uh, different phones, like say for example, right? If I if you take Samsung Wave, right? Samsung Wave will use Bada software, right? If you go to like uh, Note 2, Galaxy, whatever, those are using Android. So Samsung is having uh, different uh, OS to implement their uh, devices. Fine. So whenever if I get .apk file, then I will start testing my APK file in Android test, Android mobile. If you are taking this APK file and if you are trying to install in iPhone, it will not work. It will not work. It's APK file means it is specific to my Android. Now, whenever if you are getting, right, if you are getting a .ipa file, IPA file means it's an iPhone file. That means, right, it is nothing but my right, iPhone. So once you've got any IPA file, then you can uh, use for your iPhone testing. Fine. And Bada also is there, right? So Bada is nothing but uh, right. The extension of Bada file is j, uh, .jd. But usually, right? No need to uh, right uh, talk about your Bada and Symbian, right? Always concentrate on Android, iPhone, and Windows. See. Dot .apk is nothing but build, right? What do you mean by build? Just relate to your uh, web application, right? Very easy, right? Every time when you're learning your mobile application, just relate to your uh, web testing. What they will do when you're testing your web application, your developer will send a link to test it. That means it's a URL, you can start testing with that. Similarly, here when I'm testing my APK, uh, Android uh, application means what they will do, they will use this dot .apk. Dot .apk is nothing but it's a build. Now what you can do, you can install this .apk file in your Android mobile and start testing the application. How to start the application and what kind of uh, right uh, scenarios we need to cover, right? We'll see later. So these are all nothing but your uh, extensions for your build. So we will now, be testing. Uh, hello. Yeah, tell me. So we will be testing it on the real mobile devices. I mean, all these kinds yeah. of mobile devices. Yeah, will be yeah, yeah. To you, yeah. You can test in uh, emulators. You can test in uh, real devices. Like testing phase, we will go in the next, uh, right? In the next session. Like now, today we will complete all the uh, theory and then all the test case writing. Everything we will cover today. That's the plan. Okay. Right? Tomorrow, what I will do is I will take some emulator and then I will explain you how to execute the test cases in the emulator because. I cannot show you the device because you, you are sitting somewhere, somewhere, I'm sitting in one place, so I cannot show you. So what I will do is I will try to execute that test cases in uh, emulator. But in, in real-time, we do the testing yes. on uh, mobile yes. devices. Right, that also I will explain. Hello, Prasad, Fine. these extensions are pixel extensions or uh, it will vary? Sorry? Extensions are dot .apk, dot .ipa. Those are fixed or it will vary depends no, on no. It, you know, it's fixed. It will never vary. Right. Okay. okay. Whenever if you see any dot APK file means say Android, that's it, close. Right? Okay, okay. thanks. Right. whenever right uh, if, if I'm an iPhone developer and if I want to give that build for testing, then what I will do is I will give the build in the form of dot IPA. And Similarly, Bada and Symbian, like uh, no need to worry because uh, who is using this Bada and Symbian software, David. But again, Windows, yes, Windows we need to concentrate. Like Windows extension is dot x. So usually, right, whenever any app is developing, most of the times people will target Android, iPhone, and Windows. So my Android extension is dot apk, iPhone extension is dot ipa, and Windows is dot xap. Now, yeah, where to install and all, we will see. Wait, uh, give me some time, please. Huh? Give me some time. I will explain you how to install everything. Now, 
Okay, I learned that what kind of platforms are available and then what kind of extensions are available. And what kind of testings we will do in uh, mobile application? What kind of testings we will do? Now, when I am testing my mobile application, right? First thing will come into my mind is user interface. User interface testing is very important for mobile application. That's it, nothing but your look and feel of the application. When you open the application in your mobile, the very first thing you can see is how it is uh, visible to the end user, how exactly it is looking to the end user. And right, user interface is nothing but right, we will check each and everything like the alignment, uh, resolution, and then we will check the images, everything we will check. Right? User interface is nothing but right, look and feel of the application. Everything we will check. How it is uh, right? visible to the end user and how user friendly to your uh, end user. Right. Next thing is, as usual, when you are doing your manual test, I mean, when you are doing your web, web testing or when you are doing your uh, web application testing, every time we have to do our functionality testing. Functionality testing is nothing but make sure that my functionalities are working properly. Like when I click on my what do you call uh, contact HTTP emphasis, it should navigate to my contact as form. And when I enter all the details, if I enter correct details, when I click on submit, it should go to that uh, concerned person. If I enter invalid, then it should throw me some uh, pop up messages. So, what I will do, I will do my functionality testing here. So here, right, uh, middleware testing and all that is advanced, right? This is we are talking about basic, right? In the basic, uh, there is no concept of middleware testing. Okay. That web services testing and then your uh, automation testing, all are part of your uh, advanced, right? Here we are talking, about, we are concentrating on um, basic, right? Fine. Interrupt testing. Interrupt testing is uh, is important for your mobile application. As part of your interrupt testing, we have many things to consider, like network, SMS, incoming call. Everything I will explain in the upcoming slide, like what kind of interrupt testing is available, and then how to write the test cases for this uh, interrupt testing. Everything we will discuss in the coming slide. And this is a mobile application. So, we need to take care of this installation, whether you are able to install that application properly, whether you are able to uninstall that application properly. So all this kind of installation will be covered as part of my installation test. Now, next thing is, what we will do is performance testing. Again, if you want to write, check the performance of your application, then you can check your uh, performance of uh, a particular application in the mobile device. Yeah, I will come to you, Gita. Give me one minute. Now what we will do is security testing. Right? I want to make sure that my application is uh, secure enough. What I will do is I will do my security testing. Then acceptance testing. Acceptance testing is nothing but, right? Once we are done with everything, then we will send this application to the client for the acceptance, client will check everything, each and everything. Once it's okay with that, then we will go to the live. That means acceptance testing will be done by the client. Now, here, right, right here, there are, uh, right, someone is asking, like, uh, I want the sequence, right? When you want the sequence, right, first, what we will do is, right, we will say that installation testing will be done. Right. In the next slides also, I will tell you, don't worry, but again, just wanted to uh, rephrase this, right? First, installation testing will be done. After installation testing, we will go with user interface testing, followed by functional testing, followed by interrupt testing, followed by performance testing, followed by security testing, followed by acceptance testing. This is the sequence. Okay, fine. 
once i am done with my right srs that means right once i am uh, understand once i am done with my requirement i am good with the requirement then i need to provide a test plan okay fine everything is same only thing is okay let me end this actually right see if i am writing like this right it will be little i mean time is that's the reason no no see when you are doing this this will uh, nowhere mention right when you are doing your mobile application testing you have to do all this kind of testing like right? again performance and security it depends on the team that the team wants to do this uh, performance and security you can do that otherwise if team is uh, not i mean if team is not wanted to do this uh, performance and security you can skip it but other than performance and security So many of our students have given testimonials on how our training programs are. You will find them on kudzu.com and on our website h2kinfosys.com. On our website h2kinfosys.com, you will also find more detailed information on who we are, the courses that we offer, what each course covers. Also if you're interested in a demo program please register on our home page on the left hand side just give us more information about yourself and we will send you a link for a demo class The demo class is absolutely free experience our commitment by just attending an orientation workshop at no cost Our team of faculty and advisors are here to guide you with the right information If you still have more questions please feel free to call us Call us at 770 777 This is a United States number If you're calling from the UK call us at 020 337 One seven six one five. You can also email us at training at h two k infosys dot com or h two k infosys at gmail dot com. Thank you for watching our videos. We wish you a great career in information technology.